Alright, now I've been a big fan of Samsung's One UI and we have been covering all the features, tips and tricks, applications available on the Galaxy phone. But I always wanted to experience the stock Android on the phone, especially on the Pixel phones and share the software experiences, the stock Android features with you guys. So here I am with the brand new Pixel 6a which was launched a couple of weeks ago. I wanted to get the Pixel Pro but unfortunately that's not officially launched in India. So I waited for this guy, the Pixel 6a and here it is. A beautiful looking mid-range phone which has a lot to offer. While we go ahead and check out this phone, if you're someone who would love to know your phone better, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You will see loads of contents on Galaxy phones and going forward you will also see some contents on the Pixel phones. Now let's go ahead and check out this phone from Google. This guy here looks cool in white plastic bag with an aluminium frame with Gorilla Glass 3 protection in the front. Volume blocker and power button on the right which are tactile enough, some antennas on the top, speaker grills at the bottom along with the type C port and single nano sim tray. The raised camera bump looks fine and pretty unique and it adds to the premium looks of the phone. It's a very small smartphone especially for someone like me coming from a Galaxy S22 Ultra which is one of the biggest phablets out there in the market. So I feel this phone to be very very small. Having said that it's easy to handle it in one hand and feels pretty good. The weight is just about 178 grams. Though the bezel is a bit thicker it doesn't look bad as such. Now let me flash the specifications on the screen. I'm sure you would have seen a lot of reviews already and you would know the specs by now. Just in case if you want to know it in detail, just pause the video and go through it. Alright, now let me share my thoughts about this phone. Though this phone comes with full HD display with 60Hz refresh rate, it has 429 pixels per inch on a display size of 6.1 inches which is fantastic. And that makes the content on the screen look crisp and clear and beautiful. Do note that this phone has a OLED display which offers pitch blacks and punchy colors. And despite being 60Hz display, the stock Android animations make the display and animations very smooth which is awesome. When it comes to brightness, it gets pretty bright which goes up to about 800 nits and looks good under the sunlight too. And the best part is it goes dark enough in dark conditions to keep your eyes comfortable which most phones don't do. Now as far as the performance is concerned, the initial impression is pretty good, the phone runs smoothly, the apps open smoothly, played a few games and I did not notice any issues there. With the flagship Tensor chip, I don't see this phone facing any issues when it comes to the performance. It's the same chip available on Pixel 6 and 6 Pro and there's no underclocking done on the chipset to save battery or reduce heating. So certainly this is a flagship chipset we have here on this phone. Now talking about battery, I will be doing a real life battery test in a few days and share the results with you guys so stay tuned and be sure to subscribe. Coming to the cameras, it offers the old Sony IMX363 and IMX386 for the main and ultra wide cameras respectively. These are tried and tested on Pixel phones since a few years and takes decent images with very minimal shutter lag but when it comes to low light conditions, the viewfinder shows pretty bad view but the AI and the chip does a pretty good job in processing the image and the end result in low light condition is also pretty decent. The 8 megapixel selfie shooter does a pretty good job too. I will soon test the cameras and share the samples in upcoming videos. The stereo speakers are pretty good. We have a download firing speaker and a front speaker which acts as earpiece as well and they sound decent enough at this price point. Now let's talk about software experience. The Pixel from Google is supposed to offer the best stock Android experience. Initial impression is pretty good. Right from the boot up it offers cool animations, smooth transition effects and it is packed with loads of interesting features which we are going to discuss in the future so stay tuned. This phone is eligible for 3 years of major Android upgrades and 5 years of security updates which is fantastic. As soon as I unbox the phone, I check the update. This phone has received Android 13 already. I will be posting a separate video on Android 13 features so stay tuned for that as well. Now this is one of the Pixel phones which will be eligible to get the beta previews much before any other OEMs and you would be the first to see these previews on the channel. There is something called QPR beta program by registering to which we can test new feature drops every quarter which is really interesting. You will get to see a lot more contents on the software side of the Pixel phones and we will also compare the One UI features with the stock feature in coming days. Now is this phone a good buy? I would say yes 
Overall, the phone is pretty good package. However, the price quoted here in India is about $500, which is 40,000 rupees after bank offers. At this price point, certainly there are many other phones which may come with better features, but it purely depends on what matters to you. This phone has a great OLED display, flagship chipset, decent cameras, IP67 water and dust resistance, and mainly that stock Android experience and five years of security updates can compel you to choose this phone over other brands which offers better refresh rates, faster charging speeds, higher megapixel cameras, and maybe slightly lower price point. That's what I think about this phone. You let me know what are your thoughts, drop a comment. You will see some amazing contents coming up on this device along with Samsung's One UI. So stay tuned and stay subscribed. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.